Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to art class. Today we are using the color wheel as our inspiration. The color wheel has the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and in between it has the secondary colors, orange, green, and purple. We are using mice today to create our color wheel. We're going to make a color wheel using mice. Notice how the colors have a special place where they belong. When we take this and we compare the two, see how each color has its own spot? I want to see if you can put the colors in the correct order. So let's start out with those mice. I have put a mouse tracer in Schoology. You could print it out and use that as your tracer, or you could just draw your mice using this little shape, or you could even make your mice using an oval. So let's grab our piece of white paper and our pencil and a tracer and let's get started. We are going to start out with the red mouse first. And we're going to put the red mouse at the very top of the color wheel, just like this color wheel that you see here. So the first thing I want you to do is trace your uh, shape for your red mouse. I'm going to skip orange and go right around. I'm going to skip a space for orange and go right to my yellow mouse next. I'm going to do the primary colors first. So I'm going to skip the green spot and go right over to blue. So I have three little mice that are equally spaced. So I want you to label them. I put an R for red. Yellow starts with Y, so make a little tiny Y so that you can label them and know what color they should be. And then let's do blue last. Blue starts with a B, so I put a little tiny B. Now the secondary colors go between. So yellow, red and yellow mixed together make orange. So I want to trace this little mouse and put an O. Label him with an O for orange. Now what happens if I mix yellow and blue together? Well, I get green. So let's do the green mouse next. Trace. And then what does green start with? Oh yeah, the letter G. So I put, put a little G there. And then, of course, red and blue make purple. So purple goes between red and blue. Purple starts with the letter P, so I'm going to label that with a tiny little letter P. Well, let's do some tracing and erasing. So next, let's do a few details. Start with noses first. Remember, you can pause this video whenever you need to get caught up. I'm adding little whiskers on the ends of the noses. And next, I'm going to try little eyes. I am going to see if I can make each little set of eyes different, giving each little mouse its own personality. You can add eyelashes. You can make them wear glasses. You can make their eyes large or small. See what you can do to make each little mouse look a little bit different. After all of the mice have their eyes, let's give them ears. Two bumps make ears. You could even use four bumps if you want to draw the insides of the ears. Each little mouse needs ears. After that, the next step would be to add the tails. The tails could be short. The tails could be long. The tails could be curly, or the tails could be straight. See what you can do to make some interesting tails on each of your mice using that black marker. So let's do a little bit with color today. We are going to do one mouse today, the red mouse, the one at the very top that has the R. Here are some good patterns for this project. I would like for you to choose one pattern and your red crayon. We are going to put one pattern in the red mouse today using the crayon. Next art class, we are going to watercolor paint on top of it. It's called a crayon resist. So use that red crayon today to just do that very first mouse. We will use next time to do the rest of the mice. This is all you're doing today. Guess what? Next time, we'll even give all of our mice some cheese to nibble on. So I am looking forward to showing you how to finish this off next week. I hope you have a great day.